Hello and welcome to this tutorial on 3JS. So 3JS, if you haven't heard of it, is a WebGL project which is um, open source and free and um, very popular. So it is a way of interacting with the graphic layer, that's what um, GL stands for in the WebGL part of um, what 3JS is. Um, so it's a um, JavaScript interface for um, OpenGL. And you may have heard of WebGL before. WebGL is the um, project which orchestrates and coordinates the um, web layer for OpenGL. You can go to their website chronos.org slash webgl and you can find out more information on what is actually supported um, because on our computers we have graphics cards and WebGL and OpenGL supports um, different sort of sorts of features such as um, lighting, shading, materials, meshes, models, 3D, all these different sorts of features and um, so WebGL is the layer that um, or project that is the medium between the OpenGL and between the web browser. 3JS is another layer of abstraction above that which allows um, artists and designers and developers to work within a 3D um, language using, sorry, a 3D environment, create, basically you can create 3D projects using um, JavaScript. So just to get an idea what we're talking about here, this is the sort of thing. So this is a 3D model loaded into the browser. It's got textures, lighting, shading, it's got an environment, and it's got controls where you can zoom in and out. Um, this came from the 3JS homepage which has a bunch of examples of projects that have actually used this um, has used 3JS library. So the first thing we want to do is um, figure out like what is 3JS. 3JS is a 3D project that allows you to write 3D um, uh, experiences that you can see online inside of the browser. So you can spend some time going through this if you like and then pause the video and come back while I'll continue on. So what we want to do is go into the documentation and have a quick look at what is required to get started. So it's quite easy. First of all, you just have to download the library, which we can do by opening this. And it opens in a browser. You can actually, another way is right click and save link. And we're going to move it over to the development. And I've got tutorial 3JS. I'm going to create a folder called JS. I'm going to drop it in there. And what I'm going to do is copy this bit of code and I've already got my um, terminal here ready and I can already see that um, the JS folder is in there and then 3JS is inside that. So we want to, I'm actually going to open this up in code visual code and 
looks a little bit better. We want to create an index file. And inside there, I'm just going to paste over the um, example code from here. So even from this point, we can already open this. And if we have a look, there's nothing to actually see, but um, you can see in the console, um, there's no error. Um, all it's doing is just loading in the library. So that's the, f the first thing you need to do. Um, to create a scene, you have to, um, you can use the scene, three dot, uh, scene, yeah, sorry, new three dot scene, set the camera, create the width and the height, and the renderer, which we'll see later. You can set the height and then you append it to the document. Um, you can read all of this, come back and have a look later. Uh, to create a piece of geometry, you just create new three dot box geometry. A new material is simply three dot mesh basic material. There's loads of different materials, but this is just a simple color material. We'll create the cube which is uh, three dot mesh, and then we apply the geometry and the material. We then add the cube to the scene, which we created up here. And then we set the camera position. After that, you can create a method called animate and call it, which it has inside of it the request animation frame, which will just infinitely call this until we cancel the request um, and inside of that function the animate function we have a renderer dot render so it's calling the renderer which we set here oh, sorry here the webgl renderer and we are and then we're rendering a scene in the camera if you want to animate the cube, you can drop these two lines of code in the animation. And if we want to just sort of take a shortcut here, let's just copy all of that and I'll jump back over to code, copy and paste it. I've saved it and I can go back to, I'll just do this. And we can see there's the cube. Oops. <laughs> There was the cube. So if we have a little look, you can see it's just pulling through that code that we just pasted in there. The animate is making the cube rotate and we have the scene, the camera and the renderer with geometry and adding the cube to the scene. Um, and then the animate um, method calling at the bottom to trigger that loop. So it's as easy as that. Um, I highly recommend you spend a little bit more time than this on here, having a quick read of everything. Uh, but that's basically how you get up and running using 3JS.